Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods, what up, what up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and they are still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I am going to be sharing with you something really simple, not complex, like the brown stew chicken, nothing like that. I'm going to be sharing with you how to brown up some pepperoni sausages and put it together with some Irish potato. We say Irish or some potatoes, Jamaica, a little carrot. We have some tomatoes, got some onions, and I have scotch bonnet. I've got um garlic i'm going to use pizza scallion now i am using what i have for this dish okay but you can include other stuff you can add some more potatoes you could put some broccoli florets you could put for people who like mushroom come in and they rush room somebody you know so when you see what i do you can just you know incorporate other stuff you could also leave out the, 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 the potatoes and then add, put, some, put some pasta to the side and serve it. But I'm doing it with the potatoes for one pot. And as I said before, you could also include a little bell peppers for a little flavor presentation. But I'm going to have none of them something there. So I'm just showing you the basic of how you can do this thing. Right on over here, we have got Jesse, And I would implore it to use something with a bottom that is thick. You don't want to use anything for the bottom that is all that thin. We're going to brown up them potatoes there. That's the very first thing. That's the beauty about this dish. Is what is going to be unique about it is how I'm going to be preparing it. So you can just follow that unique um, preparation and add your other stuff. If I add, I would have done. So we are going to get the stove up and I eat. And you can um, and proceed. So right here, I've got some... Um, a few little potatoes. I'm going to be seasoning. And you can season it where you want. I'm just going to be using this. It says Simply Asia. And it is sweet, ginger, and garlic. That's how I use. Right? So I'm just going to... Oh, wow, but it's two sides of them big man. Wow. I'm just going to season it. I think I should do it in a, in a container. Let me get it in a container. Dry them. You must dry your potatoes first. Okay? Dry your potatoes first. So you want to get your oil reasonably hot and I'm not going to use any salt because the, the pepperoni sausage has salt. So if you want to use a little extra salt, I'm going to be seasoning it with this, just this little thing. You could use some basil, you could use what you want to use. Alright, so I'm going to be seasoning my potatoes and we want to get a nice you know, taste to them and also to the oil. You know, make sure they are dry and your oil is preheated and you put it down in the oil. Put it with the seasonings and all of that. No worry yourself about burning and all of that. Not the correct spoon, but you want to stay around with it. And you want to cross them around until they are up like halfway cooked through. Start a little brownish in the oil here. Alright? This is what we'll be doing. And when they are at that point, we're going to return and proceed. So we are back now, family. These are our potatoes, brown with nice little seasoning. So we remove some of our oil because the pepperoni, and you know it a go, you know. I mean, you could also use any sausages with this regular chick, um, chicken sausage, but we have got pepperoni, so we are using pepperoni. So you want to get to eat now, I What are you going to do with the pepperoni then? You get to eat I because you have to brown them. You want them to come brown, you know, and pretty. So. You get to eat, I know. So while, when you took, take out your potatoes, you keep them there on the stove. Make them stay there. Yeah, reserve with the eat, make them warm. So you get your pepperoni, them all grown up now. You know, inside here. That's what we're going to be doing. And then I eat. And when we return, you have to see what we are doing. Yeah? Okay, now family, we are back and you can see what is happening. So we are using the pepperoni sausages. So as you, I think that is the nature of them. Some pork business or something, so. It might, um, as you start to brown them, the, the, the oil might get a bit too much. So you want to remove some of your oil. Now you see them half brown. Now it's the time for the carrots. So you know the carrots, they take a little time. 
to cook. So you want to put in your carrot with them now. Make it start. Make them get started to cook brownies with the pepperoni. So you just move them around. And I cut mine in these sort of like diagonal shapes. Just the presentation. You can cut yours how you want it. Alright, so you have them in there and the eye eat and you want to carrot them. So you have one brown run with them. You know, you go and stir them around. Probably for another five, seven minutes. And we are going to come back. See? Okay, we are right back. And depending on your way of eating, if you want to remove some more of this grease, you can go ahead. I think it's time now to put in our tomatoes. Still on the eye. Put them in right here. Your onions. And you could have used some red one too. To give prettier color. And you're going to put in your green scallions at this point. And any other stuff where you use, like broccoli and stuff, you probably you'd have to wait a little to put in the broccoli. I have here a little fresh garlic that I have kind of rough chop. Uh -uh, I love that. And I still have here, I'm going to put in a few slices. Just like that free handed lamb is catching. Even though the pepperoni have a little, but you know, the flavor. So I'm going to put in a seed. Stir it up. Can our girl shoot them up now? This is how pretty it is. Right back in with your with your potatoes. Cut them never did properly finish cook. They weren't finished cook. Do you not me here? What I'm doing here is a little extra basil. Not a little extra. I'm just putting in a little basil for extra flavor. Dried basil extra flavor also a little tops of ginger powder you could grate her a little um fresh garlic root too ginger root this is what we have and if you add right down now to low I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover not near me so I'm just gonna cover this and you give it about Another five minutes and everything will be good to go. When you see my back, it's ready. I'm going to plate it up for you. I'm soon come. come. All done. We are plating up some for you. Don't let your, your stuff them cook. Till the tomato then come down to too much water. And before you know it now, the water is... I don't know, say me and the water, water thing. I'm going to deal with it, you know. I'm plating it up to show you how pretty it is. And when you add your other little stuff... How nice it would be some broccoli here would be good bring out the color and all of that we don't want to go no more I like that we would like that let us go arrange our onions at the top and when we come up me I'll show you me I'll tap it off with me soon come okay now family we are back oh some broccoli here would be good don't let these things cook out until then come down saggy and pop down pop down and all of that remember say I go serve it to your husband so you have to make sure you don't have like a you know no, go presentation goes a long way if you had broccoli you could use like sharp ched some cheddar and grate it on top of it i'm using a little parmesan just light to top it off just feel like a presentation like we say with the gawa hotel no i know nothing and you know want to do it too much you so me i say just like that and i think that is good look like you got one five star hotel and then bring something to your breakfast table some people would have did Eat it with some fried dump. I like me, no me and Jamaica. I don't know my name and name. Some fried dump playing with it. Tell me what you know about this. Tell me in the comment section what you would like with this. Nice little Sunday morning surprise breakfast for your hobby, for your wife, for your family at large. Do a big platter. If you have liked this video, remember to give me a humongous thumbs up. Remember to make sure you are subscribed to all my channels. And come on, girl is laughing. I don't know why. And make sure when you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. When you do hit the bell, make sure you look for the option that says all. Press it so you'll be informed when all my videos are being uploaded. Okay, thanks for your love. Thanks for your support. Remember, we'll come merch, lad. God, man, let me want to t shirt from me now. Help me now, man. Pat patronize me, man. Jamaican thing, patronize me, man. Uncle Cop and all of that. Thanks so much for the love. Thanks so much for the support. And all our information will be in the description in case you want to get on to us. Remember to be you, do you, most of all, love you. And happy cooking, happy eating. <laughs>